Hey, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the Pelican Noise Works Pelotar Fuzz. So this is my favorite fuzz pedal I probably have ever played. Um, not only because of its quirkiness, um, but its ease of use and ability to get a really good fuzz sound really quick and completely change that and change what you're trying to achieve out of this pedal uh, again, is such an easy thing to achieve um, that I found it unbelievably useful, um, both live and in the studio. So the Pelotar, at first glance, uh, with the color scheme, the knobs, and even what the control layout says, being gain, treble, and output, uh, you may think that this is a Klon clone. That's exactly what it's going for. Um, it looks exactly like you would think a Klon style pedal would look with those controls. However, um, this pedal is kind of a meme in of itself because it truly uh, on the inside is a fuzz pedal and a really unique way to achieve a couple vintage sounding fuzz tones. So I'm gonna read from the website here um, just what each control actually does um, and then we can kind of talk about that and we'll dive on into the demo. So they even say, and I love the way they put this on the website, the Pelotar may seem simple and transparent at first, uh, but simple and transparent are two things that the Pelotar is not, uh, which is really fun. It's a fun way to do um, this kind of pedal. So the gain control here, um, is actually um, what they say a gain texture or it's a blend between two different fuzzes. So all the way counterclockwise is the vintage style sputtery sounding fuzz. So it's got that kind of spitty, um, more Velcro-y sound fuzz. And then you're blending all the way clockwise um, into a classic scooped mid fuzz sound. Um, so we've got like a big muff style fuzz and then just a vintage. Um, it can be spitty, but it's still fairly smooth uh, for being kind of a Velcro-y feeling fuzz. I know that it sounds kind of contradictory, but um, hopefully here in the demo, it'll kind of ring true to what I'm describing. So that's the gain control. So you're blending between two completely different independent fuzz circuits, okay? And so with the treble control, um, we have the two completely different fuzz circuits uh, with their own tone stack. And the, it's an interesting tone sweep. Um, basically, when you're boosting the treble, on one circuit, you are boosting the lows on the other. And the opposite is true uh, the other way around. So it's basically like two tone knobs that you're working in separate directions at the same time, uh, which is super fun and kind of forces you um, to get out of the rut if you just saw, you know, like a gain, tone, and level. Um, I don't know about you, but I kind of have my go-to settings and Rarely am I going to like really explore extremes beyond that, but this kind of forces you uh, because you're blending two fuzzes, okay, uh, and then you're blending opposite ways of tone controls, and so it just kind of forces you to explore a little bit more. And then the output um, is just an overall level. Uh, on the inside, there are trim pots that control uh, the gain for each fuzz, so you can kind of blend that. This pedal, um, I believe to be in the stock position, I actually got it uh, from a friend and uh, I believe it is in the stock position. I'm not sure um, if that's something that he played with. I haven't touched the internal gain trim pots because I have loved it ever since I received it and it's been on my main board and my go-to fuzz sound really ever since. Um, so let's dive in and listen to all the different tones that are packed into this unique fuzz pedal. All right, so here we are with the Pelotar fuzz. Um, I've got my modded Strat here, uh, and we're going into the Smart Bell Dumble style ODS head uh, into the Little John Caps prototype number one loaded with EVM 12Ls mic with a Shure SM57 
a U87 clone, uh, and straight into the Universal Audio Apollo Twin. Here's my clean tone on the neck pickup. So it's a pretty warm, clean uh, sounding tone. Um, we're just gonna start with everything right up the middle with this Pelotar. So this pedal really, just straight up and down, uh, does what I want a fuzz to do, which is make me play slower, have those kind of spitty and they're really spongy and just barely unpredictable. Um, there's just like a top end thing with fuzz that I look for that is so sensitive to the dynamics that, um, it's almost a little bit unpredictable and just like having an immense amount of control with your right hand to really play that. Um, that's what I really look for in a fuzz overall is that little top end thing um, that sags and the top end compresses and it's not overly bright. Um, all right, so let's check out each fuzz individually now um, and then just kind of listen to the sweep of the tone control uh, and then we'll get into more blended sounds. So, we're going to go all the way counterclockwise, which is our more spitty sounding fuzz. Um, and we're going to start with uh, both the treble and the output at noon. So that has got a great kind of bright sound to it. Um, let's play around with the tone sweep.
So that's a great sound to me. That is a great spitty sound um, that still is retained on the low end. It doesn't completely fall apart. Um, and it cleans up really well. And you could hear that even the most extremes uh, on the tone, the most bright and thin uh, to the darkest and dullest um, are still really usable sounds. Um, so that's the fuzz that's on the left. Let's blend um, in all the way to the more mid-scooped muff style fuzz. So I'm gonna pause here real quick and you're gonna see me taking the back off uh, of this pedal because I realized as soon as I went to the mid scoop style fuzz that the gain was significantly lower uh, than the more spitty fuzz on the left. So uh, I took the back off and you can kind of see uh, the circuit there. Um, and I just raised the gain of that uh, right hand side mid scooped fuzz uh, almost all the way up um, I would say it's about 90% um, just to kind of match uh, what I'm feeling and hearing with the spitty sounding fuzz um, and there's also a good bit of a noise that is because of the power it has nothing to do with this pedal it has everything to do with uh, where I put the pedals for these demos um, is right next to transformers uh, and some rack gear uh, that's on my desk and so we're going to have to sort that out in the future um, hopefully it does not impede too much uh, you hearing the tone of this pedal but i guarantee you um, that if you put this pedal on your board and you've got good clean power like i have on my board it will not make any of these um, weird fluttering power um, noise. It's just kind of in the background. It just raises the noise floor um, because I've got some kind of weird power situation with where I'm filming uh, this pedal being mounted. <laughs> So, um, yeah, man, that is a great gainy sound. Um, yeah. <laughs> I find that really comfortable and easy to play and not overly scooped on the mids uh, with the treble knob in the center position. Um, so let's listen to uh, a different couple places, you know, on the tone sweep, uh, and then we'll start blending uh, both of the fuzzes here.
Holy cow. Uh, yeah, I mean, big muffs are crazy fun uh, to play, especially by yourself. Um, in, in classic, um, classically in, you know, recordings, big muffs usually don't sit really well because they're taking all of the frequency uh, in the mid-range and kind of lowering it, pushing it out of the way. And so you're just on the extremes uh, and you could hear as I turn that treble knob all the way up, um, it's just so thin and lacks those mids, uh, but that's that muff sound and it gets really nasty, um, which is a great thing to just have on tap. To have one particular and uh, intentionally bad sound um, to use for things, I have definitely um, used pedals in a similar fashion um, to that that are just creating uh, noise and it's really harsh um, to use as you know just an effect um, but overall I mean muffs are, are fun to play and the mid scooped fuzz in this pedal um, you know I think definitely hits that classic big muff but it kind of on steroids um, so let's blend some of the sounds. I'll play some of my favorite sounds out of this and then we'll kind of be hearing how it cleans up as well in the blended positions. Um, so let's dive in. Thank you. 
Man, as you can see, there are so many blended tones besides just the two independent circuits. Um, and that's really where the magic is, is somewhere in between that spitty and the scooped fuzzes. Um, and with that interactive and counter interactive uh, tone control, you really have to be creative in the ways that you shape the sound of this fuzz. And I love that, it inspires creativity. It forces you to kind of really mess around with the settings in a different way uh, than you would approach almost any other pedal um, because of the nature of you know the comedy within a clone uh clone clone looking pedal the inside is two classic fuzzes um, so shout out to uh, pelican noise works um, this is hands down my favorite fuzz pedal because you get really practical sounds some really extreme sounds but it's stupid proof. It's three knobs. Um, there's two fuzzes with two independent tone controls. Um, and in this simple package, um, the way that it makes you approach not only the guitar, but just approaching the sounds in this pedal is unbelievably unique. Um, so I highly recommend checking out one of these. This is going right back on my main board. Um, it's my go-to fuzz sound. Um, and check out some other demos uh, and listen to how it sounds and other different amps. Fuzzes are very unique and will sound very different depending on what amp you're playing them through. If this is the kind of content that you enjoy, then I please ask that you like and subscribe to this new channel. Share it with your friends. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think, what side, uh, clockwise or counterclockwise or left or right, which fuzz sound was your favorite, uh, and let me know what other fuzz pedals you would like to see on this channel. Until next time, I've been Colin. So this is... Here um, is the classic, oh, I'm sorry, all right, again I've hated it all.